Hey guys, this is just a quick minute about perspective. I talk to an awful lot of people all the time and, and, and I get to, to learn more and study more and understand more about human nature than I do about money. And I think I know a little bit about money. Um, not as much as I'll know tomorrow, but here's, here's what I'm seeing a lot of. So you're, you're here, you're here on this, um, on this blue line at, at the starting line, let's say. So you're, you're at, you're at point zero. And I'm trying to highlight that. You're at, you're at point zero. Okay. And you're looking at this gigantic mountain that you'd like to achieve. Well, I'd like to have uh, some amount of money. And I don't really care what the amount of money is. Let's say I'd like to have a hundred thousand dollars saved up in 10 years. And you're looking at, at this, at this um, mountain, that's that's a person looking, and you're saying, this is a gigantic mountain. I don't know how I'm going to eat this elephant. I don't care if it's one bite at a time. It's a hundred thousand dollars. I've got to save up nine, uh, ten thousand dollars a year times ten years. How in the world am I going to save nine hundred dollars a month? $800 a month, $1,000 a month in order to get to that $100,000. Well, what about taxes? What am I going to put the money into? Well, what, what's the growth rate going to be? What's the market going to pay me? I don't care about any of those things. What I care about is taking the first step. What's your perspective? Are you willing to start on the track to reach that $100,000? Because right now you're looking up and you're looking at that mountain and you're saying, $100,000 might as well be a billion dollars. I don't know how in the world I'm going to save $100,000. You're not going to save $100,000. You're going to save $850 a month. You're going to save $200 and some odd dollars a week. You're going, to, you're going to bite the elephant. We're going to eat the elephant one bite at a time. And you know what's going to happen? You're going to get to the 10-year mark and you're going to have $100,000. And it ha has nothing to do with the rate of return. It has everything to do with the systematic methodology of putting the money in. What if the market were flat the next 10 years? Are you not going to save money because the market was flat? No. It's a systematic methodology of disciplining yourself and putting the money in. Now, you know what's going to happen? Ten years from now, you're going to be at this place and you're going to have $100,000 and you're going to look back and you're going to look, you're going to look down the hill and you're going to say, oh, that was way too easy. I set my goal way too low. I set my bar way too low. I should have saved $1,500 a month. I could easily have saved $1,500 a month. I could easily have saved $2,000 a month, maybe more. Why in the world was I thinking so small? Was, why is I thinking with a scarcity mentality? It's, a, it's, it's the same objective, but you were looking up the hill. Now you're there and you're looking down the hill. Now that you've achieved 10 years worth of, worth of progress and discipline and savings and thrift, you're going to say, wow, that was so easy. What will I do in the next 10 years? I need to double it. Oh, no, no. Maybe I need to triple it. Maybe I need to think bigger. Maybe I need to expand and, and climb to the, to the top of, of my respective profession and figure out what I need to do. Because that $100,000 felt really good. And $200,000, $300,000, $400,000, whatever the number is. Is going to feel, feel way better because now I know that I was able to do it.